Let's install Wiimod. Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. So if you noticed the intro, I recorded the intro at 8 something p.m. and it's now like one, almost 1.40 a.m. So I've spent like four to five hours trying to get Wiimod installed on my Steam Deck. Yeah, it was a hard one. Okay, it's because I, if you've been following me, I recently like factory resetted my Steam Deck because I messed up installing Suyu. I tried to compile Suyu, the Nintendo Switch emulator, and I messed up. So I lost everything and then I'm trying to install Wiimod and yeah, it was hard. All right, so without further ado, let's just get started. Let me move my camera. So I'm in um, uh, gaming mode. I want to show you the my system OS. So it's the Steam OS. I'm currently on 3.5.17. Okay, this is the latest stable release. Okay, so if you're wondering, all right, now let's go into desktop mode. And I'm not sure if I can replicate the installation because, yeah, it took me four to five hours to get it to work. It's different now. I think it's because um, Proton 9 is out and they updated Proton Experimental. So it's it's different. It doesn't work. The old method doesn't work now. So this is a new method. Okay, so the first thing you need to do, go to Discover Software Center and download Proton. So search Proton on the search bar and you need two of these programs. One is Proton Up QT. The other one is Proton Tricks. Okay, so the one with the green arrow up is Proton Up QT. And the one with the red wine glass as the icon, that's the Proton Tricks. All right, install both of these. Okay, and then open up Proton Up QT. And previously we needed like Proton 6.19, something like that. Yeah, now you should get this. GE Proton 832. Okay, so make sure install for Steam. Add version. Add version. Get um, GE Proton 832. That's one you need. And you would also, if you want to install it on your Steam Deck. Okay, also get 621 GE2. Okay, both of these. I've already got them, so I'm not going to press the install. Okay, so 621 GE2 and um, GE Proton 832. Okay, so once you've got that, you probably need to restart your Steam for it to kick in. Okay, and then you need to download two of these files. One is the Wiimod installer file. I'll link them in the description. So you just click on the link to download it. It might not be this version when you're watching this video because it gets updated frequently. Okay, so, but it should be the same. And then you also need this. This is the .NET Framework 4.8 offline installer. So you need both of these installer files. Links in the description, click on it. Okay, first thing, we're going to um, highlight the Wiimod installer, right click it, and then click Add to Steam. Add to Steam and it's adding. Okay, go to library. Okay, so I just installed, this is the one that I installed. I'm not going to delete it yet because, you know, this is the one I just added. Okay, let me shrink this down a bit. Oops. So this is the one I just added. Um, go to properties, compatibility, force the use of a specific play. Okay, um, we're going to use Proton 621 GE2 because we want to install it. Okay, and then click play and it should install. It should have that um, splash screen. It takes a while now. It's not as fast as it was before. Maybe they've updated something in 8.15.1. Okay, here's the splash screen. Let's wait for it to finish. Yeah. 
yeah, it takes a lot, a lot longer. Okay, it stopped automatically, so it should be installed. All right, now we need to locate the the uh, location where it's installed to. Click on your dolphin, so your file manager. Go to home, and click this hamburger button. The three lines. Make sure show hidden files. This is checked. We're going to go into a hidden folder. Dot steam, steam, steam apps, compact data. And if you sort by modified, this is created just now. So I'm pretty sure this is the latest Wii mod that I installed. Go inside it. Go inside the prefix folder. Drive C, users, theme user, app data, local Wii mod. Okay, so this is where we installed Wii mod. You can see it's got a Wii mod.exe. Copy this location. We need it. Copy it. Okay, go back to your Steam. Click on the key icon properties. Okay. Um, then here we because we don't want to start the installer again. We want to run the program. So click browse, and I'm just going to paste that location that I just copied, and click the tick mark. Select wemod.exe, okay, and make sure at the start of the path you add the quotation marks, and also at the end quotation marks. Okay, and then start in. We're going to paste that location without the exe and no quotation marks. Okay, and then compatibility. We're going to change it to Proton GE eight thirty two. Okay, and then we're gonna play. See if it works. Let's wait for it. Okay, so the program works, but we don't have the .NET. Okay, that's normal. Now, close the app. Close the app. And we're going to open Proton Tricks now. Okay, and then select the non-Steam shortcut. This one is the one that I tested out and I successfully installed it. Now I'm trying to install for the demonstration of this tutorial video. So select this one. I hope I can replicate it. Like, if I can't install it, then I have to figure out what I did that made it to work. Okay, so select the default wine prefix. Okay. Um, go to run wine config. Okay. Change the Windows version to Windows 7. Apply. Okay. And then run uninstaller. Okay. All right, now here, click install and then go to downloads folder where I put my .NET framework 4.8, the offline installer file, double click it. Okay, you should be able to install it. If you can't, um, yeah, that's why it took me so long. It took me like four to five hours. Some protons, I couldn't install the .NET framework yet. It happens, all right? So what you're seeing is I've tried multiple times and this works, but uh, it doesn't always work. So hopefully it works for you guys as well. I tried doing the old method, like using Proton 6.19 GE2 and all that, and it didn't work. And then I even tried using Lutris to install it and it didn't work. It, once it worked on Lutris, but I couldn't type. I'm not sure why. So I couldn't log into the Wii mod. And then when I tried to reinstall it again with Lutris, it just didn't work. I got the antivirus message and all that. Yeah, it was, it was hectic. So now we're installing .NET Framework 4.8 on here's the new Proton, eight, uh, GE Proton 8.32. I tried with the latest one, GE Proton 9. It didn't work. So if you're liking the video so far, please remember to hit the thumbs up button, that like, all right? It really helps out the channel. I talk a lot about gaming handhelds. 
especially the steam deck. Okay, so installation is complete. Finish. Okay. Okay. But it's not going to work. Okay, so if I play right now, normally you'll think it'll work. If I just click play right now, I think I get the antivirus message. You see that? I get the antivirus message. Now, what I did was I went back to the properties and then I changed it to Proton Experimental. Okay, because we do want to run our games and everything on Proton Experimental because it's always the latest version of Proton and, you know, uh, most games are supported. So, yeah, we do want Proton Experimental. Now, I'm going to go to Proton Tricks again. Okay, select the Wii mod. So now we're in Proton Experimental. I want to uninstall that .NET Framework 4.8 because we don't need it anymore. Because it's not the right version that we want. Just wait for... Okay, select the default wine prefix. Okay, run uninstaller. Okay. Now I'm going to select .NET Framework 4.8 and then I'm going to remove it. Remove, next. Okay, so I was saying that um, I talk a lot about gaming handhelds, especially the Steam Deck. And recently I purchased a Lenovo Legion Go. So I might be doing more content on Windows gaming handhelds, Steam OS as well. So I'll be doing um, mostly like Steam OS for now. But later, if we get more um, people want to see Windows gaming handheld stuff, I can do some content there. And also I can do comparisons. So if that's stuff you want to see, Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And make sure you hit the like button. It really helps out the channel. It, like my videos get um, further. People can see my thumbnails and stuff. And it really helps out. It gets more views. More people can see it. I get more subscribers. Stuff like that. Yeah, you know the drill. Yeah, so this took me... Yeah, how much? What was it? 8 p.m. and then 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. All right, so it took me five hours, almost six. Okay, so removal is complete, finish. Now we're just going to reinstall it and it should work. Okay, so just reinstall it. So if you just like directly install .NET Framework 4.8 on um, Proton Experimental, it, it just doesn't work. It fails. So I think like installing it first with this... Um, GE Proton 832 and then uninstalling it and reinstalling it with Proton Experimental. I think that works. And I just fluked it. Like I was just messing around for four, five hours, testing it out. And yeah, it just this finally worked. I was about to give up. I was about to give up. So if you don't know what Wiimod is, it's a trainer, okay? But I think you know what it is if you're like watching the video for this long. It's a trainer program. Basically, it lets you cheat in your games. So if you install it on your Steam Deck, you can cheat on your Steam Deck games. And, you know, you get the infinite ammo, infinite health, stuff like that. You can toggle on the trainer and, and enable all these cheats. So it's really fun to mess around with. But um, it doesn't work. This method doesn't work on like Steam games. It has to be non-Steam games. All right. So yeah, take note of that. Okay, it looks like it's going through. Yep. So installation is complete. Finish. Okay. And I like to go here and select run wine config again and change it back to Windows 10. Because, uh, oh, we got actually Windows 11. So yeah, maybe Windows 11. So because, yeah, it supports the most games. So in case if you have a game that needs a lower version of Windows, you can go back here and change it anytime you want. Okay. Now, let's play. Play. Okay. You can see I can log in. So log in. Um, log in 
All right, it's done. It's done. Um, go to this. All right, you can see it's 8.15.1. This is the latest Wiimod version as of recording. Okay, so I think I'll leave it here. So if this video helped you out, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.